Yeah, hi everyone. Shane from Miramar Tennis TV. Today, special guest, Isaac Beecroft. Welcome, mate. Good to have you. Yeah, no, good to be here. Cool, mate. Cool. Well, look, um, Isaac, it's great to um, have you along here today, and it's actually great to uh, see you uh, here back in uh, back in Wellington. Tell us, uh, 2020 has been an absolute, uh, well, nightmare for some, and, and look, uh, New Zealand's sitting here uh, relatively COVID-free. Mate, tell us, uh, tell us what's... Um, uh, your journey's been like in the last uh, 12 months? Yeah, no, it's been crazy. Um, so I was playing over at um, Mississippi State um, in America um, around kind of March. Um, obviously, we just got started at the start of the season. Um, yeah, it was, it was busy, it was ramping up. We were traveling every weekend um, and then kind of just out of nowhere, obviously coronavirus came. Um, and within three or four days of, of learning about coronavirus, um, yeah, I found myself on a flight back to Wellington. Um, it all happened in the blink of an eye. Um, obviously, it was a bit disappointing to, to cut the season short. Um, yeah, college tennis, it was so fun, playing great matches every weekend. But um, yeah, there was no other option. There was so much uncertainty about mm. kind of what coronavirus was going to do. Um, so yeah, I came back, I came back here and, and yeah, it's been good to be back, spend time with family and also play here. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back over there at some yeah. stage. Got to mm. keep on going, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, you've actually got a few other peers, uh, similar age to you, um, also back from the states. Um, so, uh, the likes of George, uh, George Stoop, and uh, Satchel Ben, uh, they must be great hitting partners here in uh, Wellington for you as well. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's good to get out with those guys. In a, in a way, the kind of a silver lining of coronavirus. Everyone mm. came back. Um, so spending more time on court with those kind of guys mm. than I probably would be able to if we were yep. still back in college. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, it's good to kind of have that environment. Um, we, we are like mates with the guys and also out there battling. Yeah. Um, well, that uh, training's obviously um, um, been going very well for you and you've been able to transfer it into the, onto the uh, match court. Um, mate, the last, uh, the last three money tournaments you've uh, taken out in the form out here at Interclub uh, for Miramar uh, has been fantastic. I mean, uh, are you putting that down to, to any one thing in particular or are you just taking that next step uh, in your own game? Um, I mean, I'm very fortunate to have uh, a guy like Finn, Finn mm. Tierney um, who's played, you know, at the top level um, to, to kind of help me and guide me. Um, he's got a very structured plan about like what I need to improve in my tennis and how to mm. go about that. So. Uh, I mean, that's, that's for me the main thing. Um, mm. I'm very fortunate uh, just to have a guy like that who, who just helps me out so yeah. much, you know. No. Um, and also I've always got, got Clint down here to, to yep. bounce ideas off and, and he obviously helped Finn out as well. So just kind of the, the three of us is like, we, we, yeah, we, yeah. We, we, like it's a pretty good partnership I feel like. Um, mm. But yeah, he, just, he leads me in the right direction. Um, he tells me what I need to hear even if, I don't necessarily it. like it, but yeah. he's always on me. Um, and he's, the main thing is he's got an idea of the level outside of outside of New Zealand and futures yep. and challenges. And he what you kind need of to work towards. What you need to work towards, and he, he doesn't kid he doesn't kid around. You know, like if mm -hmm. it's not good enough, he'll tell you and, and back out there. So that's the main thing for me. I'm very fortunate, and I just got to keep on. You, you you're carrying some incredible form at the moment, um, and uh, what, what are some of your goals? for the next uh, six to 12 months. I mean, uh, talk us through that, man. Um, I mean, for me, it's been good being able to play some more right tennis here in New Zealand, um, but it'd be really good to kind of translate that over uh, into the first of all, the college season and, and be a, like a valuable kind of asset for the college team. Obviously, that's the main idea, but also just just kind of, yeah, cracking the kind of futures. Um, mm. I mean, I qualified for a few futures, but still haven't kind of just got found that next step where um, you mm -hmm. know just you're finding your ways into a bit deeper into futures yeah yeah um, and over here and, and just kind of keeping that bigger picture goal of of not trying to just win you know here but like internationally I yeah. guess yeah. Um, so right now that's um, match play that's keeping you ticking over obviously the you've got the uh, uh, nationwide money tournaments that are, that are going on uh, Carabao and also uh, Premier Interclub here in Wellington. Um, one thing that I've seen in the calendar, I'm sure, must be a big goal of yours: the, the residentials. 
yeah. talk to us about that. Yeah, for sure. So obviously end of December, New Zealand's biggest tournament of the year. So I guess the money tournaments and, and the Carabao and the interclubs are all kind of, I see maybe stepping stones mm. towards, towards this big event. It's the one that you circle at the start of the mm. year. You want to be trying to play your best tennis by then. Yep. Um, so that's what I'm really hoping to be able to able to do um, and then straight after that there's the Tianao invitation sure yeah um, so those kind of two events um, obviously financially they're pretty good as well but um, well I mean home home uh, home court yeah. I mean I, 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 you've had a taste of the doubles yeah, yeah. Um, out in front of the um, home crowd and uh, obviously uh, you'd probably you know right now I'm guessing you want to go all the way in the singles yeah I mean that's the plan um, you've got to got to train every day yep. to try and work towards that mm -hmm. um, just try and keep getting a little bit better yep so come end of December you're playing your, your best yeah. tennis and you're firing just to, touching on that improvement one thing I have noticed you out here on the um, out here on the court your, your serve seems to have really stepped up is that is that something that you've been actively working on yeah um, just for, yeah for sure I mean it's probably one thing I underestimated um, mm -hmm. kind of in the last few years about how good uh, how beneficial a good serve is um, kind of gets you out of tricky situations. You see, quite a few guys that can they can get quite far on my serve. Yeah, home, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, you know, with four all in the third, you can get a few free free mm -hmm. points at mm -hmm. thirty all and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's when that's when it pays off. So, just any spare bit of time at the moment, I just yeah. try and get out there and pop a few serves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, another Wellington lad, uh, Finn Tierney, um, obviously your coach. Um, uh, are you guys planning on teaming up and, and yeah. going after the double title again? Yeah, that's the plan. Um, yeah, I hope. Uh, I mean, we've talked about it obviously, and, and at the moment we've 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 penciled it in. But he's obviously working a full time yep. job, so sure. if something comes up, uh, obviously I yeah. understand he's wor he's working yeah. hard at a full time desk job. Yeah. So, that's the um, plan. and um, you don't have to answer this question, but uh, you know, um, do you think we'll see him in the um, singles draw? Oh, I think we will. Oh. Yeah, I think we will. He'll. Uh, I don't think he'll lose it for a couple of years, honestly. So if well, he's, he's out there, I still think he's the man to beat. Yeah, yeah well, three-time champ. He's got uh, um, every reason to uh, yeah, get a wild card. Next, <laughs> probably win it for the next ten years if he wanted to. Yeah. Hey, look, um, um, Isaac. It's it's been an absolute treat to uh, um, have you um, with us today. Uh, also representing uh, Miramar uh, here in Wellington, um, back at your old club that you have uh, won a uh, title with. Um, so look. Um, on behalf of uh, all of us and, and for those at home, hey, look, it's been great uh, chatting to you, mate, and we uh, certainly wish you all the best for the uh, for the future. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, yeah, just lastly, th big thanks to Miramar. Uh, came back, uh, obviously, and, and reached out, said I'd be keen to play some matches, and they've opened me back with uh, warm, warm arms. So, uh, yeah, thanks to Miramar and the whole club for, yeah. for welcoming me back. Oh, that's great. And look, um, but hey, mate, uh, we're right behind you, back you the whole way, and uh, we... Uh, We'd love to see you lift the trophy um, uh, come December. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks Cheers, so much bud. for your time. All Cheers. good. Cheers.